The new Government Administration Building was designed with a number of features which allow government to be more efficient with its time, energy, and finances. The Facilities Management Department was established to oversee the new building and to maximize these cost-saving features. The Facilities Management Department is a new department here in government. Uh, we came from the Land and Survey Department and recently broke away from them in order to uh, bring a greater amount of facilities management across a, a greater portfolio of government business. Uh, chiefly, the Facilities Management Department is charged with maintaining uh, the new Government Administration Building, uh, the Cayman Islands Environmental Center Building, and all of the Civic Centers as well. And, you know, our big responsibility obviously right now is, is taking care of the new Government Administration Building. The new Government Administration Building was constructed with a green building in mind. So in this case, um, you know, our energy management systems through heat recovery, geothermal, um, and some of the other processes in place are what gives us those accreditation points to actually earn that certification. So through that uh, we're able to uh, save government money through better energy management. In a good example, uh, in a 240,000 square foot building such as the new building, uh, compared to the glass house, our electricity bills have only doubled in running from what the glass house was at 40,000 square feet to what this building is at 240,000 square feet. So it's just an easy example of in building a building that's built to green standards and how much we can save in energy. My name is Adam McLaren. I'm the uh, building manager here at uh, Government Admin Building. On a daily basis, I monitor uh, what is known as the building management system, or BMS for short. Okay, obviously, one of the things that makes the building so efficient and allows it to save money, obviously, is the BMS, building management system, which uses schedules and sensors to monitor uh, environmental controls. Uh, it will turn them on, turn them off. Uh, if people exit the building, if they come back into the building, um, it also uses schedules to turn things off at night when you know the building is unoccupied. The building also utilizes cool water from geothermal wells, which can reduce energy consumption compared to conventional systems. Here at the building, it's extracting cold water from the ground. It's passing it through heat exchangers, and then it's passing it back into the ground. Back at the point uh, that the building was, was conceived, uh, the thought was that by bringing all of the government departments and agencies into one building in one central location, um, great efficiencies would take place there. Um, some simply through just the ability for uh, fellow government workers to actually be in proximity of each other so you don't have to travel to different office space across the island to work. So we're hoping that uh, people will be more productive and that'll be more efficient. But certainly uh, government was uh, renting a, a great amount of space across the island in terms of office space. So by bringing all of these agencies into one central location we were able to get those rents off of the government rent roll uh, and, and greatly reduce the numbers of money that's going out in lease space across the island as well. Since moving into the new government building, we now have uh, a brand new telephone uh, telecom system which has um, enabled us to centralize the telecom system, meaning that we have um, approximately 25 departments housed in the building, hence we have approximately 750 to 800 employees. Uh, when we have a caller who calls into the switchboard, we now have an amazing um, tool that we can type and find and locate a department. We can locate an individual by uh, last name, by first name, as well as department providing a much quicker service to the public, minimizing um, wait time. Um, we have a brand new system, it's IP based. It, it absolutely saves gov government money. Um, it saves them on the billing, it saves them on rental, it saves them on the actual service charges, usage, four digit dialing, eliminates having to call 945, 946, 949, and we're all in the same building now, so the intercalling means that there's no there's no charges for when you call a four-digit dial. So in building the new building, what we hope we've achieved is for the public person coming in that has multiple pieces of business with government, uh, with those departments all being located in the building, that they can conduct their business kind of in a one-stop shopping uh, type manner as well. Uh, the goal of the facilities department as a customer service department, our, our goal number one is always to provide an excellent customer service experience.